Well, when you have kids at home, there are certain items that we all try to keep out of reach. There are and News Channel 5's Claire Kopsky joins us this morning with a reminder about yet another item. I know there's always a long list for this, right. and we all know those basics, those medicines, sharp objects, guns, but Children's Hospital at Vanderbilt is pleading for parents to add one more item to the list. Their THC gummies to kids. These look like candy, but to parents, they're adult gummies like anything that's dangerous in the home. Yep. It has to be out of reach of small children. These THC gummies accidentally consumed by kids have led to a parent's worst nightmare a trip to the ER and some to an ICU. Um, they may come in with an alteration in their level of consciousness. They may come in vomiting. They may come in seizing. And in some cases, they've come in with a, such a suppression in their respiratory drive that we need to secure an airway and breathe for them with a breathing tube. In the past six months, the Tennessee Poison Center has had approximately 46 THC or marijuana exposures in children ages five years and younger. These are high doses in these edibles um, that are designed for adult use. And so what ends up happening is these small children are getting into these candies, these gummies, these, these cannabinoid infused treats um, and consuming the whole thing. So it's really the amount that they're consuming leads them into very harmful territory. Dr. Marla Levine says as more retail spaces open and sell the gummies, her team sees more cases. Places are starting to carry these products, which makes it feel like they're benign. Right, because they're being sold in bodegas or, you know, just stores that are not being marketed as dispensaries. And so I think there's an illusion of safety there. Um, but the reality is these are drug infused products. But she doesn't blame the sellers. Instead, says guardians have a responsibility. What parents decide to do recreationally is that's their business. But the responsibility is to ensure that these products don't have a way of getting into the hands of a small child and especially children under the age of five. This is very, very dangerous. A reminder to keep adult gummies in your home out of reach. We spoke with several shop that shops that sell these THC gummies and some of them told us how they have been. They have warnings on the bottle and some companies products even have containers with a child lock on them. Most of them agree with Dr. Levine and said there needs to be more regulations on these products and parents who have these gummies at home or in their car need to be more cautious.